Drew here for Zcode System for the latest video from the website. And today we're going to be talking about the English Premier League and the outright winner's odds with just a few weeks left to go here in the season. And it is getting down to nip and tuck as there are two teams battling it out for the Premier League title. And of course, those two teams are Arsenal and Manchester City. And just five points currently separate those two teams in the Premier League title race. And we're going to talk about the odds now on those two teams to win the Premier League trophy as we get down to the final two months or so of the season. Only 11 games remain for both of the clubs, and they will be playing head-to-head -head in April. All right, so guys, we are on the Z Code System blog, and go over there to get all the latest picks that we post. As you can see there, we have picks for tonight's games, Dallas taking on Memphis, and we have lots of other great information at the Z Code System website. Whether it be hockey or baseball or soccer, you can find the latest picks that we post there. And of course, you can use the great YouTube page that we have here where you can go over and get the latest videos from Z Code System and all the writers that post there. And you can see we've got lots and lots of picks. Uh, various soccer picks that we have posted uh, throughout the year, as well as picks for other sports that uh, are going on. So definitely go over there and check out all the videos. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you're watching any of these videos, hit the thumbs up, like, and uh, stay up to date on everything that we do at Z Code System. Now, we're going to be taking a look at the outright winner's odds for the Premier League with just a few months left to go in the season. And Doing the the blog, writing this blog for uh, Z Code System, I had a look back at an article I wrote uh, during August, on August the 1st, just as the Premier League season was getting underway, uh, because I wanted to see just what the odds were for uh, the teams at the start of the season compared to now the teams as we get towards the last, I guess, quarter of the season. And as I scroll down here, you can see the odds as of July 31st we had Man City at minus 163, and a bit of a surprise there, Liverpool at plus 250, Tottenham at plus 1,200. Now, as you know from following the Premier League season, Liverpool and Tottenham, Chelsea even, they are out of the title race. Manchester United are not really in the title race, although they are not necessarily um, uh, statistically out of the running. Uh, and then you have Arsenal at plus 2,800 to win the Premier League. So if you put down uh, your money there at the start of the season, £100 or $100, you would be in line to win $2,800 come the end of the Premier League season. If Arsenal can hold on to the title, and uh, I'm not sure, I don't think uh, at the moment, because I've not heard any news that uh, there are not any sports books paying out yet on Arsenal. Now there will be, uh, if if the, the lead was larger, there would be sports books already paying out just to go ahead and uh, you know, cut their losses uh, on, on this. Um, now, interestingly, just down here, we've got uh, Bournemouth there, uh, sorry, Fulham there, at plus 100,000. Uh, amazingly, Fulham are still technically in the title race just because they have not been eliminated uh, due to their current points. So they're not going to win it, but it just shows that, you know, the bookies do not get these things right from season to season. And the Premier League title race right now shows that because I couldn't, we saw Arsenal at plus 2,800 back at the end of July, beginning of August in the outright winner's odds. Now, let's take a look now at my favorite sports book, Bet365, and we're going to have a look at the outright winner's odds. So uh, this is obviously Bet365. You know, you've probably got your own favorite sports book. This is the one I typically use and uh, the one I typically bet with. And this is the soccer page, so I'm going to hit the outrights. And one of the great things about the Premier League every season is you have a variety of different outright markets uh, to win the season or to win the league, the top goal scorer, to finish in the top two, to finish in the top half. So you've got a bunch of great markets and always a lot of fun to wager on at the start of the season because you get to watch that action unfold throughout the campaign. Now, of course, we are looking at the two win uh, odds right now. And as you can see there, we've got Arsenal at minus 138. Now go back to July 31st of 2022 at the start of the season and Arsenal were plus 2,800. So just amazing how things can turn around. And we've got Manchester City at plus 120. Now, as I said before, those are the teams who are really only in the title race right now and everybody else is just 
in hanging on because of they're not uh, mathematically eliminated, but this is basically just a two horse race. Now the last two seasons or last few seasons, we've seen Liverpool and Man City go down to the wire last year. It went down to the final day, Manchester City uh, almost losing the title. They were down two nil at one point to Aston Villa came back and won that game three, two breaking the hearts of Liverpool supporters uh, and players. Uh, so City have the ability, they have that comeback ability, a great squad and uh, probably a better squad than Arsenal and uh, a better manager than Arsenal, uh, in my opinion. This is a team who can definitely come back and win this title. And if if you're asking me right now who I think is going to win this title race, I still think it's Man City who are going to win this title. To me, it's Man City's title to lose. Yes, they are five points behind Arsenal going into what will be match day 28 at the weekend. But in my opinion, City, um, they've already shown they can beat Arsenal this season. They've beat them once in the Premier League. They've also beaten them once in the FA Cup. Uh, so I think Man City can definitely overtake Arsenal in the title race. Uh, Arsenal will still have to play Man City, as I said before. April 26th is when that game will happen. They'll be at Man City. So City will have their home support behind them. Arsenal also have to go to Liverpool to play. Liverpool is a tough place to play. Liverpool may be struggling this season, but I think Arsenal will drop points at Anfield. Uh, Arsenal barely getting by Liverpool earlier this season, 3-2, uh, gifted a late penalty. Uh, Arsenal still have to play Chelsea this season, and, and I think that they are going They are going to drop points. They have looked at times where they will drop points only to overcome that. And I think, to me, they're overachieving this season. If you look at their expected points, which is... Uh, the probability of points they should have this season. Arsenal are plus 10, uh, just over plus 10 in points uh, that they've gained this season. Um, Man City, however, are around plus one uh, in expected points uh, because Man City have been re relatively um, achieving what, what they should be achieving. Uh, they're not overachieving uh, like Arsenal is. Uh, City with a slightly easier schedule, in my opinion. Uh, they'll play Arsenal, they'll play Liverpool, and they'll play Chelsea. And all those games will be at the Itahad Stadium, where City will have their home support. And I think City are going to pick up the win here. Uh, like I said before, City are plus 120 to win the title, and uh, a 100-pound bet right now would return 120 pounds. So I think City over Arsenal right now in the title race. Let me know what you think, though about the Premier League title race. Which team do you think is going to win the title this season in 2022-2023? It's going to be an exciting one going down to the wire and um, you know another great season in the Premier League of uh, the title race going you know, possibly into that last month of the campaign. Let me know, though, in the comments who you think will win the title this season. And also, as always, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on everything we do here, do here at Z-Code System. Check out the blogs, read up on those. Uh, to help you make educated bets. And if you've not signed up for Z-Code System, go ahead and do that so you can get access to all the great systems we have there and all the tools that help you make profits on your sports investments. All right, guys, thanks for watching today, and I will see you next time here at Z-Code System on YouTube.